everyone, Nick here, uh, deep in the bunker at Tone Proper AV. Uh, we have the new Galaxy 32 from Antelope. Um, you know probably if you follow us online or anything like that, we're pretty big Antelope fans. Our mastering studio, we've got Antelope gear. In a live environment, we're using Antelope gear. Uh, so we're big fans. And they were nice enough to uh, get us one of these Galaxy 32 Synergy cores to try out. And it's basically half of a Galaxy 64, which if you've ever seen that box, it is a bonkers box. So this is a bit tamer with uh, only 32 by 32 analog. We're gonna be going through unboxing in this video and connectivity. We'll be doing other videos with our also brand new, just showed up Midas Heritage D. We'll be going through some uh, live applications, uh, virtual sound check, Dante, connectivity, all that stuff. So we're super excited about this box and uh, we're gonna dive right in. All right, we're gonna break the seal. Use my uh, Oregon made uh, bench made. So you're gonna get your uh, warranty card here and your getting started card. Um, of course, if you're buying a device like this, uh, you already know that you want to get the software uh, loaded up. Nothing like that new gear smell, I gotta say. I think Antelope does a super good job of just making sleek, um, really nice boxes. And um, all in black. And it's hefty. Uh, there's a lot packed into this box screen as you can see there and all your connections on the back. So let's dive into some connections. Let me move some of this out of the way. Hey so the great thing about Antelope is uh, a lot of the innovation that goes into this stuff. A lot of companies keep designing the same boxes over and over again with a two extra mic pre's or whatever. Um, I'm a huge fan of kind of uh, you know, the Lord of the Rings, you know, one box to rule them all. And uh, the fact that it's in one rack space is, uh, is a huge win uh, from a live application standpoint, which we find ourselves in um, often. So what you're gonna see uh, starting from the left side, of course, is your Thunderbolt 3 uh, and your power. The other thing to notice too is that it's not just some, you know, janky IEC non-locking plug. This is actually a threaded, um, uh, plug so you can't pull it out uh, very easily. And uh, you're gonna have ward clock. Of course, if you know Antelope, their clocking is pretty phenomenal. We use it in live applications and there's a, there's a big noticeable difference in just the clocking alone. So you've got two word clock outputs, a word clock input, and then the 10M in, which is their uh, super high-end clock. Um, so you can clock this off of that. All right, uh, next up is you're gonna have Dante. You're gonna have a primary and a secondary Dante. We're gonna go over that. You've also got uh, Maddie in and out, ADAT in and out, which is awesome if you've still got your, uh, still got your Tascam um, ADAT rig. HDX ports for all the Pro Tools folks. Um, dedicated monitor left and right, which is awesome. Those are tip ring sleeve. So in my application, we use a TRS to XLR uh, mail uh, to go into our active monitors. And then you've got a whole bank of analog in and a whole bank of analog out. Um, and that's a Tascam standard on those uh, DB25s. And the great thing about these boxes is that you can run a lot of this at the same time. So you can have analog outputs along with Dante, uh, Maddie, analog in, uh, HDX, all that stuff at the same time. So you're gonna get 32 analog in, 32 analog out, and you're gonna get 32 by 32 on the Dante side, and you're gonna get 64 channels on the HDX side. And then of course your standard eight at is gonna be eight, monitor left and right, SPDIF will be stereo left and right. So I think that covers pretty much all of the connections. And the other thing to talk about is the real-time effects processing. One of the great things about the Synergy Core system is the six DSPs and two FPGAs uh, processors built into it, allowing you to run 128 real-time effects simultaneously. So that's one rack space with all the IO we just talked about, plus all the DSP. Needless to say, 
Uh, we're really excited about this box from a live standpoint, a studio standpoint. There's really not a situation where you're gonna be like, boy, I really wish I had you know, four more inputs or anything like that, or more processing. In another video, we're gonna dive into a little bit more of the uh, software side of things. We just wanted to do a quick overview of connections and uh, what we like about it. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the quick unboxing video here, and uh, we'll see you next time.